Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Fortnite Creative Beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can use the custom video device or the device that allows you to play videos which is called the video player and what are its capabilities and what are its limitations and we're going to talk a lot more about the limitations than capabilities at the present point. So I have my video player or video device here I'm going to rotate it, I'm going to pull it closer and I'm going to set it up here. Once you do, you'll get this, a looped animation of the llama that goes on and on. And the first thing you'll probably want to do is to customize it and change the video to play. Most likely you'll get this, simply custom, which is the present animation. Being that Epic Games is changing that constantly and there's a lot of confusion what you can and cannot play on the video player. And the fact is that most of you, almost all of you will play just this, custom, nothing more. The animated sequence that goes on and on, just like a broadcast notification, only in the Fortnite universe, and you won't be able to play anything else. You'll probably go through all of your kind of features here under all options and you won't see anything related to the content itself. Now this is a bit of a kind of confusion point, but the point is that the Fortnite creative ecosystem is really closed, so you cannot simply add YouTube links or you cannot upload your videos. In fact, you cannot upload anything in Fortnite creative. You have to use UEFN for that and it works in a, a lot different manner than Fortnite creative. So you're left on using whatever you have here. And in this case, it's basically this clip. Of course, you can change kind of whether or not you're showing borders, what the volume is in terms of what players can hear, how far can they hear it. You can change the sh scre screen shape to different kind of options. You can even make it triangular for some reason. But in terms of content, as you can see, the selection uh, of videos, the selected video will play when the device takes control they're just custom. Some times ago there was, or a few years back, there was kind of a sequence of Fortnite action with characters, small looped videos, let's call them like that, from in-game seg segments, they're gone now. There are some discussion whether or not if you're kind of a vetted creator you get a larger selection or not, but for most of us you simply get this. However, Clearly Epic Games and the Fortnite Creative Fortnite team is working on this because in terms of functions you have uh, loads of possibilities that are all here but make really little sense. As you can see there are update to external stream source when receiving so there is the possibility of kind of adding something to an external stream source but what would be the external stream source that's completely kind of up to debate but in this case it's simply this you have this capability that is present really limited here really narrow to more or less nothing but there is clearly a plan to add so much more to the same device and potentially at some point even though in terms of events, it can just send a signal when it starts. In terms of functions, it's clearly meant to be a lot bigger segment of user choices that are on their way, I'm guessing, and being developed by the Epic Games team. But right now, what you see is basically what you get. And you don't get much, that's true. So there you have it. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully this kind of allowed you not to waste time in looking for options, fake uh, tutorials that explain you how you can add YouTube clips to your Fortnite creative island. You can't, you just can't. And other elements that will probably waste your time and give you nothing interesting. So this should at least alleviate those issues from the get go, hopefully. So there you have it. That's my tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful, somewhat useful. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page, please check out my channel memberships, and please check out my books on Amazon, including my best-selling book that can help you overcome wasting time. 
But of course the cheapest, easiest, fastest way you ask to support me is just to subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos. That's all for me, thanks a lot for watching, my name is Ivica, have loads of fun in your Fortnite creative adventures and I'll see you on my new tutorial. Until then, bye bye.